Alright, so now I can show you the new weapon we got, but first, when he throws his swords like this, you can cut them and send them back at him. So it's kind of like a whip, is how the rosary beads work. Come on. But it stuns him when you do that, so... But if you saw, I just used the mirror as a shield. Whoops. Oh, can I still get that? I can! Got him. Kind of a pushover. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amaterasu. That's enough for now. Too late now, you're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Amy? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excusez-moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that curse zone that struck this area. Consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Oh, Orochi? <laughs> Do not utter that name without reason, like you just did. That alone could curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain a hundred years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guarded. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinshu Field. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Sukuyomi. The beast's evil has caused a curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That Orochi's gonna be mincemeat when we're through with it. So you're the ones who've revived the trees in this area. But a lot of time's passed since Orochi's return. You better pick up the pace, ma chérie. What? Sorry to say, our battle just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but... One cannot dwell on past, past glories. You have weakened greatly during your hundred-year slumber. That's enough! It's enough! <laughs> now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I foresee a log and big thrills. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Ha ha! Ta ta! Toodaloo! Hee! Au revoir, baby! What a freak! Who the heck does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy! We got work to do. Wow, I did not do good on time. But that's okay. So now we can explore the forest. Which, the forest has these little, uh, little thingamabobs. And if you bloom them, they got stuff inside of them. A lacquerware set. 
like it. Coral fragment. More money. Steel fist sake. Got a demon gay here. Let's go take care of this. Oh, yay. Flying fish, my favorite. Get my ink back up. Easily dispatched with some brush strokes. But yeah, if you press and tap X when you're using the beads, it continuously, ah, damn it. Continuously does damage. Yo! Monkeys! I think the monkeys eat anything. I don't think that they have a preference on which type of food you give them. Infinity Stone. So, those are another item you can use in combat. Gives you unlimited ink. Karud. Well, there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf. You look just like that Shiranui. There used to be lots of animals here in Agata Forest. They started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me. Now, hard, now is hardly the time for that kind of chat. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest, did you? Nar Narai River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. The bridge to Kusa Village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but he's so busy with that dog of his that he just won't make a start. The dog my son's so smitten with is called Yume. I found him injured in the forest a long time ago. My son nursed him back to health, so he's a bit overproductive. He's become so soft that he has no sense of adventure now at all. But if a man lives in the forest, there are things he has to do. That's why I'm determined to get him to build a new bridge. I'm sure he can do it, I just have to trust in him and be patient. You seem like a good father. And a merchant here. Deep in Agata Forest, there's a big river called Narai River. Bridge over it was destroyed in the storm the other day, so now I can't get a hold of any new stock. Luckily, I've got quite a lot in reserve, so I can still trade. Feel free to take a look if you've been set to do the shopping. I've actually done... I've come to do the selling. Is what I've come to do. I'm going to hold on to the Infinity Stones. Uh, they can be useful. Ooh, gold dust. I will take two of those. Yes, please. So gold dust, uh, powder made from golden earth that unleashes the potential of weapons. Basically, you can level up your weapons. Uh, you can only upgrade each rep weapon one time, and I'm actually going to switch back to the to the mirror because my favorite weapons used to be the beads but uh, I have since discovered that the mirrors are actually the most powerful weapon in like weapons in this game and they are the best to use in combat and yes I said mirrors because there are more than just one but we won't get a lot of them until later What's in here? That's a cool looking rock. Okay, we can't cut that apparently. 
Actually, not much we can do in here yet. Save real quick. A stray bead! So you can actually, if you come over to this, hey, we got the journal, uh, the wanted list, travel guide, we got all these scrolls that we've been finding. I'll just, you know, give you little gameplay tips. Bestiary, like we saw before. Red Imp, Yellow Imp, the Dead Fish, and Waka. Move list, so all the stuff you learn from the dojos. And you got your list of stray beads. There's 100 of them in the game. Technically, there's 99 in the game, and then you get one for beating the game. But it tells you how many there are uh, in each area so there's three in kamiki village so these three and then there's six in shinshu field one in hana valley which we got and there's six in agata forest and then obviously there's a bunch more don't mind me lady just breaking all your pots okay so these are kind of cool they fill up your health and your ink if you walk over them. That's terrifying. Little doll. Madam Fawn, ha ha ha. You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madam Fawn. I'd read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Bone Reader, Madam Fawn. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. However, this year is special. This is the 100th year since Nagi and Shira Nui's adventure. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Orochi! Even so, the rate at which it spreads. Incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian saplings. I can see the curse has been lifted. It appears that some brave soul has stood up to Orochi. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. <laughs> like I told you, I am a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can even tell you your future, Wolf. Interested? No. <laughs> Come back anytime you're in need of my services. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's not necessary. Like at all. <laughs> she like if you're if you're confused on what to do in the game, she can give you hints. That's pretty much what she does. But it's not needed. The, like, like you have seen so far, the game is pretty heavy-handed on its directions. It's not subtle at all. <laughs> it's not hard to figure out where you need to go. With a few exceptions, there are some spots in the game that I can see somebody who hadn't played it before getting a little confused. Give me. Give me the treasure. Get to the chopper. Come on. Go ahead and do this. More bunnies. I'm gonna feed you, and you're gonna like it.
So obviously you don't get very much praise from uh, feeding animals, but you know, it adds up over time. Oh, birds, I didn't realize they were here. That was something else I didn't point out. If you come over to the animal tome, it shows you uh, all of the different animals in the game and the percentage of how many of them you have fed, which I'm amazed. We've already fed 50% of the boars in the game. I didn't realize there wasn't that many. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. And then also the same thing for the treasures. You, you don't really get, I don't believe, no, that's not true. I'm pretty sure there is uh, achievements for getting all of those. Um, at least there were on the PS3 edition, there were trophies for it. So I think that there are probably achievements for it on the Xbox. Anyway, let's come over here. There's a child, Kokari. Oh, poor Yume. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone, too? I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest, Kokari. What's... what, this? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog, Yume, and I were exploring a secret place the other day. An ancient building known as the Suda Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins if we'd until Oh, excuse me. Until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought you may had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and in went the key. I tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah! Snap out of it. I cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But, 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 listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever it can all be yours. Go ahead, act like you're having fun. We'll watch. So now we're gonna fish. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because you can't see the bottom. That's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows that the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will ya, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun! Fun! Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. Should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make some by drawing a line from the pole to the fish. Yeah, I know how to, I know how the fishing works. So, yeah, like I said, just draw it to the fish. Did I actually get a bite? Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. So basically, you have to push the left stick in the direction that their tail is facing. Nya -nya! Nya -nya! Caught killifish. And uh, if you look at the meter on the uh, top right of the screen, that sh or I guess just in the middle, if you go into the red, he will lose health because you'll be you'll make him too tired, and then then you'll lose. Ooh, now we got a big one. I want it. Give it to me. You sure did. 
Thanks to me. And then you power slash him. And that's how you catch a fish. That's how it works in real life, too. Caught a giant salmon. Oops, I almost skipped that. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Hmm? Hey! The, that's the ruins key! <laughs> it popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Yume over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away from me now. Bye. Hey, give that back. <laughs> Good move, Annie. <coughs> we can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suda Ruins. He actually chases after us to get it back. Well, before we do that... <laughs> okay, that's not how that's supposed to work, but. <laughs> and then in here, we got another cat statue that we can't do anything with. But we know where it is. Oh, look. Hmm? <laughs> not you again, Fido. Tsk, tsk. Why must you always dog my footsteps? Ha ha ha. I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson something or other, and it's rumored to have a hundred followers. What do you mean Crimson something or other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka Pass is out, so why rush? But have no fear, once I must master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur, I have some serious training to do. Sure, I believe you. First, I'm going to go ahead and put the key over here so I don't have to worry about carrying it around. Well, let's go look for that kid's dog. <clears throat> I'm actually hoping we might find something more. Nobody's entered these ruins for ages, right? Just think about it. it could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden in here. <laughs> but enough talk, let's start looking. Not yet. Using gold dust to enhance weapons. Let's give you some herbs. Not what I meant to do. Oh look, more treasure I can't dig up. See how much more damage we're doing now that we've leveled our shit up? So yeah, if you put the beads as the secondary weapon, they actually can be fired from a distance. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, we do so much more damage now. Give me your fangs. Give me your fangs. Kind of surprised we did well on time. I felt like that was pretty slow.
Wait, hold on. What was, what animal is this? Oh, it's birds. <laughs> Couldn't tell what it was. And more deer. Lots of praise, lots of praise. Before we go into the ruins, I want to come over here to this lovely little fella here. As you can see, he's got demon fangs on his head. Kiba, how funny. I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are manners. The name's Isun, and this furball here is Am Amaterasu. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, I'm the infamous Kiba. Yes, I'm the great Kiba. I don't remember. I didn't really read the first line. The great fang trader, Kiba. Now then, Chalky, you know about monster leftovers, right? You know what? You know what you get when you defeat a monster. I'm talking about the demon fangs. Demon fangs. Yeah, we've collected quite a few. All you do is tan those monsters' hides, and they drop a demon fang just before they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chalky, got any of them on you? Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I, the great Kiba, have collected treasures from all over Nippon. We can do a swap. Yes, I would love to do that. So, these are the ones that you want. These ones in red. You got a peace spell, keeps demon scrolls at bay. So basically at night, keeps them from chasing after you. Wood mat, make a cash offering and sleep on this mat and your wounds will heal. Basically, I don't know if I've pointed it out to you yet or not, but if you just stand there and don't do anything, eventually Ami falls asleep. And when you do that, you'll spend money but you'll heal your wounds. Not really all that necessary. And then the golden lucky cat brings on her luck, draws money and other valuables near. That's the item I was looking for specifically. That's why I'm glad we got 50. We can buy that one. And then you go in here, go to equipment and down here, got all this stuff. Golden lucky cat. You can equip three of these items at a time. Obviously we only have the one. So, useful. Now, we won't have to chase down the money and stuff when we're fighting. It'll just get drawn to us. But anyway, let's go on in to the Suta Ruins. Our first real dungeon of the game. Like I said, this game is kind of Zelda-esque. You have dungeons with puzzles to solve and a boss fight at the end of it. The Suta Ruins. The big statue in the middle of it. And disgusting purple water. A pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. What's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? Okay, I'll try. That didn't work. I think it's funny because that scroll tip enhancing divinity was basically how to level up which we've already learned how to do whoops demon tree be gone what's this this wall has arms. It's one solid wall, even that hard head of yours won't work. Huh? Did this wall just move? 
Ah, impossible. Let's keep going. It clearly has arms, Isun. 